Good morning, good morning. My name is Brother Leroy Pierce of the Greater St. Paul AMA Church, where our pastor is Dr. Reverend Toby H. Pola of West Columbia, South Carolina. And this morning, I'll be coming at y'all with our primary Sunday school quarterly lesson, lesson number three, March the 20th, 2022. Celebration of completion. Celebration to observe or commemorate an event. When you think about celebrating, you think about when you graduated from kindergarten, when you graduate from middle elementary school, going to middle school, when you graduate from middle school, going to high school, and when you graduate from high school, going to college. So when we celebrate the, complete, the celebration of completion, of things that we have done in our life, things that have accomplished. So we thank God for the celebration. When we get all A's, we celebrate. When we get all B's, we celebrate. When we get all C's, B's, and A's, we celebrate. But we do not celebrate when we get F's. So we thank God this morning. For the celebration of life. We thank God for keeping us as we continue the journey through the thing called life. Our lesson scripture this morning is Ezra 6, 13 through 22. And our key verse 7 days the Israelite celebrated with joy the festival of unleavened bread because the Lord had filled them with the joy by changing the attitude of the kingdom of Syria so that he assists them in the work of the house of God, the God of Israel, Ezra 6 and 22. So the people here we see celebrating God, celebrating what God had helped them to accomplish, thanking God for this being God of their life. So this morning we look to the hills from where all our help come from. Lord, we thank you, we praise, we give you glory on this morning, Father God. Father God, we celebrate you this morning, Father God, because you have blessed us once again to see a new day dawning, Father God. You have blessed us to see the sun rise, we thank you this morning, Father God, for what you have done and what you're getting ready to do in this day, Lord God. This is your day, Lord. We celebrate you, Lord God. We thank you, Father God, for bringing us to this day from last Sunday to this Sunday. It is a joy, Lord God, because so many have, didn't make it to this Sunday on this side. But, Lord, we are some of the lucky and blessed ones. So we thank you this morning, Father God. Father God, cultivate our hearts and our minds as we come this morning, Father God, to learn what does say you, O oh Lord. Learning to celebrate you in the midst of Oh, Father, we thank you, we love you, we need you. In your son Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Celebration of completion. Ezra 6, 13 through 22. And in the second part of the story that was told in lesson two, the governor and other leaders did as King Darius command. So the Jewish elders continued to build the temple. They made progress and were incurred by the prophet Haggai and Zechariah. They finished the temple as they were commanded. Then the people of Israel dedicated their temple. They offered sacrifice for their sin. They originated the priest and the Levite for worship in Jerusalem, like the book of Moses instructed. Then on the 14th day of, the, of that last month, the people returned from bondage celebrating the Passover. They celebrated the Passover. They celebrate what God has accomplished in their life. They celebrate for God bringing them back into their land that was taken from them. It was captivity. Nebuchadnezzar captive. They burnt down the temple. They took all the gold pieces of silver and all that with them. But all that was returned. So we thank God this morning for returning the thing that was stolen from them, stolen from us. So we have to give God glory. Don't ever feel that something that was taken from you, it won't be returned. Because God will have it returned to you. It will be returned. So we thank God for always being a God that make ways out of no way, always provide for his children. Then we look at life and understand we have to celebrate every accomplishment there is in life. We celebrate birthday. We celebrate holidays. We celebrate everything. But most of all, we have to celebrate Jesus. Not only on Sunday, but every day of the week. We give him praise. We give him glory because once again, he has blessed us to see another day. The Levites killed animals to use as Passover sacrifice. It was for all the people who had returned for the priest and for themselves. So the Israelites ate it together with all who had given up the ways of their corrupt and who had come to worship the God of Israel. They turned away from their wicked way. We have to realize growing up, I, I gave people a hard time. 
People gave me a hard time. So in life, you have to understand that we have to ask God to forgive us and celebrate stuff that he has accomplished in our life. Thanking him for how he continued to grow us and we continue to do his will to bring glory to his name. For seven days, the Levites of Joyful celebrate the festival of unleavened bread. God has filled them with joy by changing the attitude of the king of Assyria so that they assisted assist them in the work of the house of God of Israel. So that's what we have to do. Celebrate every accomplishment God allow us to accomplish in our life. No matter what it is, celebrate God. Thank God for what he has done. Because it's not on your own power, your own strength, that you were able to accomplish what you accomplished. It is by the power of God. That's why I say, by, not by my might, not by my power, but by the spirit of the Lord that lives in me, that is able to help me to accomplish these things. So we thank God this morning. Celebration to remember. A celebration to remember is our story this morning. Taylor was having mom decorated to celebrate their new church building. The work on it had been completed. People were all over the building getting it ready. Mom wanted the decoration in the sanctuary to be just right. Taylor hand me those flowers and couldn't shouldn't you be headed down to the orchard practice? Mom asked, yes, Mom, but why are we doing all this? It's just a building. Why is everyone so excited? Taylor questioned. Taylor, God has given us this new building. It was built just for him and for us to worship him there. Mom's comment, but we will be doing the same thing here that we did in the old one, Taylor note. It's not just about the building. We are celebrating what God has done. This is an important time for us. This is not happening every day. So it must be a celebration to remember, to remember what God has done. Mama explained, sound like I better get to Orchard practice to get ready, Taylor replied. You make it look good. The music must sound good as well. It must be a celebration to remember. We're looking at them going into a new church, going into a new building, thanking God for what he had done for them and provided for them, that they was able to build a new building, that they was able to come to a new place. Not un she's not understanding why it was so much of a fuss for this new building because they were going to serve God the same way they did in the old. It's just that God helped them to accomplish something great. It was a time for celebration. We have to celebrate God when he helped us to accomplish things in our life to bring glory to his name. When he accomplished you to go from one grade to another grade, you celebrate. When he helped you to maintain those great habits, you celebrate. You thank him for always being a God of God that's on time, the God that sees you and does just what he says he will do in you. So we celebrate God for all that he has done and he continues to do in us. Children, celebrate God. No matter what, celebrate God. Give God the glory, the prayers, and the honor. Exploring the story in Ruth. Like, hello, everyone. Ruth, you in today's lesson. It was a special time to celebrate something special in our life of Israel. The temple had not been pleaded as God had instructed. King Darius had made sure it happened. This was a new beginning for the people of Israel. Now they could celebrate the Passover and the new temple. It was a time to rejoice in what God has done. People had committed themselves to God and building the temple. There are many reasons for why we celebrate today. During what type of tradition and celebration do we praise God? Let's discuss this as a class. Understanding we thank God for wedding anniversary. We thank God for birthdays. We thank God for every accomplishment we achieve in our life because we know all our help comes from God. We thank God for always being an on-time God for us and providing for us. So we continue to celebrate Jesus. I give him glory, praise, and honor, and I thank him for being the head of my life. And I celebrate him every day, every second, every minute, every hour. Oh, I give him glory. 
I thank y'all for allowing me to come into y'all home with this church school lesson for our children. I pray that this lesson bless our children and help them to come to realize and understand Jesus. Celebrate Jesus for the accomplishment he accomplished in us. Do what does says the Lord. Understanding life is great with Jesus on our side. Have an awesome Sunday. Be blessed. Be encouraged. Love y'all.